what's up troop back at it again with another deck for you guys today this deck is coming from regis kilbin if you have been around the community for a while you've probably heard that name before they are one of the top i would probably say uh contributors to just making decks and stuff for marvel snap uh you really gotta love his content really really seems to be a great guy um also just a role model to look up to as part of like trying to become a content creator something that i've kind of seen but anyways this is a deck that they made and i saw on one of the videos i watched and i was like yo i gotta try this deck out this is basically one of those move bunal uh decks you know um uh, i've played them before but this one has a little bit of a spin that i like it's called I, well it's called aranya and torcha that's courtesy of Regis. That's why Regis's name is up there because this is these are his flowers for him making the deck. I'm not just gonna steal it and not say anything about the guy, right? So obviously this deck has a few new components to it of uh, what you will typically have seen in a move tribunal deck. But we um, have the Aranya, we have Black Swan, and we have Madam Web. Those are the three big things that are different that you typically wouldn't see in a move tribunal deck. Or I guess you would now because those cards, most of these cards just came out. So maybe they will be typical now. Arania really great just for allowing you to actually not have to do a combo necessarily with move. You can kind of do things out of the flow, which is really great for move because move is such a combo heavy deck. You have to have a card that gets moved by another card and then that card gets power, but you have to do that multiple times to build up and get taller. Just doing it one time is typically not enough. And that's where move comes in with these new cards. Aranya being able to do stuff out of the combo, Madam Web being able to move things that are just on the board, doesn't matter what it is, as long as in her location, she can move it. Um, and now with Black Swan, you can play zero cost one drops without having to play Black Swan on that turn five. Tremendous. She's a two cost card now with three, three um, power. And she allows you to play all of your one cost cards for free on the, on the next turn after you activate her, which is tremendous. That means you can play her on turn two and you don't get that good effect until turn uh, six, which is when you really want it. Uh, Hercules is in here as well. Everybody knows that ever since Hercules got moved to a three cost card, he has shown up and showed out in move decks like none other. It, it's crazy how good he is. Just being able to get two moves on a card with one card activating that movement is fantastic. Especially with you, when you think about the tribunal portion of this, you don't care where that card is necessarily going. You just want that card to bounce somewhere so you can bounce it somewhere else and continue growing that power. Which is why cards like Vulture and Human Torch are fantastic in this deck for being able to just be thrown into a, a Hercules and being tossed hither and there and just gain tremendous amounts of power that you can spread out. Now, in conjunction with Black Swan, you have Falcon. You can drop Falcon on turn five after you've moved some stuff around, get your one drops back. And because of our one drops in Ghost Spider, Human Torch, and Iron Fist are there, you can probably either move some of the cards that you um, might have in your hand, like maybe you got Vulture, or maybe you're waiting to lay down that dagger. I like to typically hold out on dagger until later because she's not a very good early game card. Your opponent hasn't really built up their, their side of the deck yet. So you really want to um, think about how you're playing these cards, especially with the activate, because you want to make sure you're using Black Swan on the last turn, on turn five, basically. So you, be, be careful not to forget to activate your cards for one thing, because that's definitely something I've seen people doing. So all, all in all, I really enjoy this deck. Being able to play all your one drops as well as Living Tribunal on the last turn can be stellar, especially if you've already built up a big, big Human Torch. He's only just gonna get bigger. And that number just it keeps exponentially getting more and more big. So I'm, I'm a, I was excited to play with the deck and I, I had fun playing with it. So if you like this, I say, if you like move, try this deck out because it's really fun. And here's some videos of it. Hopefully you guys like it. If you do, drop a comment. Tell me what you liked about the deck. Do you think the move meta is cool? Or do you think it's a little too much? Um, personally, I think the move meta is really awesome. I don't like metas like Arisham and Hella and whatnot. I like when things like, I like move being a powerful deck. I really do. It's easily to be countered. Honestly, it might be one of the most honest decks that there is besides like Patriot but that's neither here nor there. You tell me what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. So my question here is always, do you want to play early or not? In this case, I'm not going to play very early. Mojo world is a thing. I'm going to go ahead and lay down black swan because I want her to be there. Makes sense to me. 
That's already a good setup. Oh man, I hate that. He might get our Falcon. We got we got this wind condition basically almost. We kind of got his wind condition. Not gonna lie. He's probably not gonna be playing a lot of cards either based off what he's played here. He's missing negative, but he doesn't have Arnim Zola. But is it possible for you? Um, like I don't have me not having Falcon scares me because that means he might have it. So he does Iron have Man. Iron Man. Okay, so we're not going for a Black Swan play next turn. What I can do this turn, though, is activate Aranya. Send it, send, send Dagger over there. And I can play Madam Web over here on the left. We're gonna see if this works out for me. Oh, I should have activated black. We only have Iron Fist next turn, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. But it's whatever, really. Go to the middle. Oh, well, that's fine, I guess. I am Iron Man. Okay. Oh, thank God. That works out great. That means I didn't have to activate Black Swan and we get an extra turn. So I can still activate her now, but I still don't have Falcon. I'm pretty positive he got my Falcon. That's all that's, that's all that, that's, that's the only thing that really sucks right now. I'm pretty positive he got my Falcon. Um, so what I wanna do, this becomes 16, this game, this becomes what? 17, actually it's a little bit bigger if I move it over here, but he's probably gonna move something else over there. And I can probably do this. Next turn we could end up getting Vulture. Well, what if I end up getting a double Hercules? The only thing about it is that Dagger needs to go to the middle. We'll see what happens. I'm cool seeing what happens. Go to the middle, Daggle. What, what did I just say? Go to the middle, Daggle? <laughs> go to the middle, Daggle. <laughs> oh man, it would've worked too. Kinda, I mean, we still we still only have like one thing that we can do over there. But this is kind of okay though, I think. I said Daggle. Move to the middle, Diggle. <laughs> Move to, I don't know what I just said, man. Um, so we got 23 power right here on this. So he knows that he didn't get Black Panther. So he knows that I have it. So I can, pu I can push this right here. And we know this is gonna go over there. Do I care? Like, I feel like I should go for like fleshing out all the power, but can I win all these other lanes? He doesn't have Arnim Zola. He knows I have his Arnim Zola now I played it. So. I'm not trying to win this lane, but we need to win these two lanes. Best way to do that. Well, this would be 1632. I think Torch would probably be better. Yeah, I think Torch would be better because it's gonna be 1632 with Hercules. 1632. And I already got 23 power over here, and I can just do play play tribunal and hope hope like hell that 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 we we do really well. I don't know. Let's see if we can beat these two lanes right here. Okay, 1632. The mystery intrigues. 
So we got lots of power. Can they win in the middle and on the... I'm not sure. Ironheart. It could be pretty tough. No, nah, that's fine. We're good. And Psylocke, yeah, we're fantastic. I don't know what I was afraid of. We took his Black Panther, so there's nothing else we can do. Victory. Yeah, he doesn't have a null lane either. Yeah, this is this is perfect. This is perfect. First, and then next turn, if we get a one drop like Human Torch, we can still move him. Actually, I'm probably going to play Hercules right now. Thank you, game. That's what I didn't want. A double, double Doctor Strange. I need. Well, we got, we got Vulture too. So. This might be bad because these would be the same price. Oh. Okay, this is fine. <clears throat> yeah, this works out okay. Because next turn I can actually just Aranya. This is turn five though, so I only have one. This sucks, man. We I just realized we don't have any of our one drops, so I have no reason to do Black Swan next turn or to play Falcon unless I want to just get a card back. But um, let's go ahead and activate this so we can move it over here to that. Let's do this. We're gonna do this. I don't know where it's gonna go. Maybe I should knock it over there first then bring it over here. Bring it over there and hope it doesn't come back over here so we can move it again. I don't know. Bring left to Madam Web it next turn. Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm hoping that it comes back mid is all. That's all I'm hoping. We'll still activate that and see what's going to happen. Are you serious? Yo, that's wild. That's crazy as hell. Never expected that I to be something that could happen. I didn't think that would work. Supreme. That was pretty sick. No, that makes that makes perfect sense. It's just really cool. That makes perfect sense. make sure we got a lot of power over here on the left so he brooded and surfer yeah we're good that was pretty sick though okay i i I, <laughs> I never even thought about that you know giving the opponents an activate that's a that was sick that was that was really sick that whole play was sick dude that was some cool that was some cool stuff i gotta give you i gotta give you your uh <laughs> You're just desserts, man. That was really sick. I mean, now I didn't have anything in my hand that I really wanted to have, but he didn't. I mean, I don't even care if he thought it would win. That was still a really sick thing. I had never thought about, you know, I had never thought about that being a possibility. <laughs> but we'll play it in a second. Goodbye, living crop, you know. Hmm. Really don't like that really don't like that location. Flame on! The power of Ra. This dude's a, a mega weeb. I think turn one Loki, eh? Yeah. Seems perfect to me. We'll just play this over here.
Oh wow, get juked. Why would you even play that over here? It's like, why would I do that? That was silly. I wanna be with you everywhere. That was a waste of space. Oh, wow. Look at that. You know, I'm going to take your Hercules and I'm going to like it. to the middle come on torch thank you baby thank you thirty two power human torch now unfortunately I don't have my tribunal anymore doom rules all okay apparently doom is ruling everything um I'm gonna play this here and play Naranya here. Then I can pull dagger. I don't know if he's moving anything. Okay. Cause I was gonna play, um, I was gonna pull it over here. Let me go. Listen, how does guy get turn one Loki unless deck tracker isn't picking up Arisham? No, he was Arisham longer, you know? And then it's like, those are the worst times to to ever. Those are the worst times to ever have snapped because it's like nothing you can do now. Cause they're winning. That's it. I don't want any more cards in my hand. It, ne next, next is gonna be weird world. Watch, just watch. And I can't play Squirrel Girl. Like, come on now. Probably my dagger. Oh, it was my vulture. I haven't been getting so much stuff. Um. We'll do this, then next turn we can Falcon. But what really sucks is just the amount of stuff that we have that we just can't play. I think we do this. I don't want to play the squirrels, but it's better than nothing, you know? Okay. Thanks, Black Swan. You showed up just in time. All right, we'll play Vulture over here on the right because that makes a lot of sense. Um, I hate that if I play something over here, it can move out because I would rather it like move. I would rather nothing be able to go over here. I want to, I want to make it to where these are the only places that I can play. What's up, mommy milkers. And I can't even do this. So 
So I think what we do is we, oh, we play Iron Fist, Flame Human Iron. Torch. If it goes back over there, we just, we don't care. Cause we'll pull it back. Oh, wow. So I think we still win. Yeah. I mean, he kind of fucked up our human torch, but it didn't matter. <laughs> I mean, we just, we just win. It might have happened. There's a there's a one percent chance that it, that it did happen. You know, I'm not I'm not saying it didn't, but you know, it could have had. You know, I'm not gonna say he didn't do it, but he could have done it. He could have done did it. I don't know. It would have been nice to have these things a little bit earlier, but it's fine. Sounds good. It's too late. It's too late, baby. Now it's too late. Snap on my boy. I think I'm going to snap it. I'm doing pretty good right now. It depends on what happens here in this play. We have Falcon too. So I can play this. Well, I think I can save Aranya. I'm, I'm going to save Aranya for later. I can play. Well, I kind of want a Falcon. Well, I can't. I can't save Aranya can't save Ronnie because I'm gonna bring everything back. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to activate Aranya on Vulture, bring everything back and then Black Swan. Oh, did you guys know you can do that? If you just hold it down, it activates. Didn't realize that you don't have to click on a thing. Why not Doc and Falcon? I guess I could do that. Oh, because I'm not going to be able to activate Aranya. That's why. Because I can't, I can't activate Aranya if I Falcon. That's why. <clears throat> and now I can still dock Ox and stuff. And these all cost zero, and I have Living Tribunal too. I don't have to do Doctor Strange to make this be legitimate. Um, pull this here. Don't care where everything goes. Play this here. It's gonna be sixteen thirty-two. Yeah, because you can't you can't activate Aranya, so that's where that's why that's why it matters. Um, still a good amount of power. We're gonna see how much it is. Dagger could have been good here too. I'm not sure if it's enough. We'll see. So it's 16, 32. I don't think it's enough. Such is my judgment. Ah, uh, it was enough. We castle rolled him. Woo! Victory. That was close. That was a really close one, but yeah, that's that's why you have to do it in that order, because it, it, Fa Falcon's gonna bring back all your one drops, and Aranya has to be on the ground to activate, and you can't activate after you play Falcon, and she won't work if she's not on the field. You know what I mean? Oh, I know you guys are still here. Well, why are you sticking around? Be sure to subscribe. 
and also check out this video see you guys in later bye